Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green and blue shaded uh, region fully confined uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, 15. That means this side is 15 and this side is 15 uh, units as well. And moreover, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region is uh, 15 uh, centimeters square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region uh, consists of uh, this uh, region, this uh, region, this region, this region and this region as well. So let me go ahead and label uh, these regions. Let me call this uh, part uh, as a lowercase uh, a. I'm going to call uh, this uh, lowercase b, this uh, lowercase c, lowercase uh, d, and this uh, lowercase uh, e. And let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, white uh, triangular region uh, as uh, x, this uh, blue region uh, as y, and this uh, region as Z. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. In our case, uh, the side length of the square is 15 centimeter. So therefore, the area of the square ABCD is going to be 15 square that is going to become 225 centimeter square and now let's focus on the green shaded region area so the green shaded area belongs to this part so this a b c d and e so the total green shaded area is going to be a plus b plus C, plus D, and plus finally E. And now our task is to find the value of A plus B plus C plus D plus E. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle EBC. We can see that its uh, base uh, is uh, 15 and its uh, height uh, is uh, 15 uh, units uh, as well and furthermore uh, the dimensions uh, of uh, this uh, square a b c d is uh, 15 and this uh, side is uh, 15 uh, units uh, as well in such kind of scenario the area of this uh, triangle uh, a b c is going to be half of the area of the square a b c d and now let's focus on this uh, triangle EBC area. This is going to be the sum of these uh, individual areas inside uh, this uh, triangle EBC that consists of this uh, A, this uh, C, this uh, D, this uh, X, and this uh, Y. So we can write the area of this triangle EBC as uh, A plus uh, C plus D plus X plus Y equals to a half times the area of this square ABCD is 225. So let me go ahead and write down 225 over here. And now we can see a half of 225 is 112.5. 0.5 on the right hand side. So therefore of this equation is going to become A plus C plus D plus X plus Y is going to be 112.5. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles. The first triangle is F, B, P, this whole uh, triangle. And the second uh, triangle is uh, 
F B C and we can see that both of these uh, triangles have the same uh, base uh, F B and their height uh, is uh, same uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle uh, F B P is going to be equal to the area of the other triangle uh, F B C. In other words, uh, this triangle and this triangle, they have the same area. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this triangle uh, FBP is going to be the sum of these uh, individual areas uh, E, Y, B, C, and uh, Z. So let me go ahead and just write down. Uh, I can write uh, B plus uh, C plus E plus uh, Y plus uh, z equal to and now let's focus on the area of this other triangle uh, fbc that's going to be the sum of these uh, individual areas uh, x plus uh, c plus uh, z so let me go ahead and write down the area of this triangle uh, fbc is going to be c plus x plus uh, z and now we can see that this uh, c on the left hand side and right hand side uh, they are gone z and z are gone as well so therefore uh, x uh, turns out to be equal to b plus e plus uh, y let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and here's our next step let's go ahead and substitute this uh, x equal to b plus e plus y value in this uh, equation one and here's our equation one i'm going to replace uh, this x uh, by this uh, value as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, x by this uh, part and now let's go ahead and uh, rearrange uh, these uh, a plus uh, b plus c plus d plus e i can write uh, a plus b plus uh, c plus uh, d plus uh, e and let's combine these two that is going to become uh, plus 2y equals to 112.5 and now we can see our y value is 15 from here so therefore i'm going to replace this y by 15 over here as you can see in this next step i have replaced this y by its value 15 and now in the next step 2 times 15 is going to give us 30 and now let's go ahead and subtract 30 from both sides this uh, 30 and negative 30 they are gone so we ended up with uh, a plus b plus c plus d plus e equals to 82.5 and now we can see this uh, left hand side uh, this part uh, a plus b plus c plus d plus e represents the green uh, shaded area so therefore we conclude that the green shaded area turns out to be 82.5 centimeter square so thus the green shaded area turns out to be 82.5 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye